Richard, I'll start with you, if I may, in terms of uh, exactly, just very quickly, what Weijo does in terms of collecting a lot of data from, from cars. Is it just from EVs or from all cars? And, and, and what type of data points are you collecting? No, so we work with 17 auto manufacturers globally. Um, we have over 11 million live cars on platform. We see 7% of all, vehicle, all vehicles in New York. And we get a vast array of data from these vehicles. We've actually processed over 400 billion miles of data, which is 20 times more than Tesla. And we get EV data. We get, um, we get LiDAR data where appropriate. We get entertainment data. We get sometimes get location data. We get, we get powertrain data. We get a whole array of data from, from over these 11 million vehicles, and we're scaling substantially. D does every driver uh, or car owner know that you're getting that data, do you think? Or, or is this something that might well be... Uh, a box they didn't quite realize they'd checked at a point of purchase somewhere down the line? No, there's a clear, there's a clear consent process. Um, I set up WeJo seven years ago with this idea of data for good, that there had to be a clear consent process. So we, we have access to over 50 million vehicles and 11 million vehicles of drivers have given consent. So we have a very clear consent process and we have a very clear approach that has to how that data is used. Uh, sometimes that data is used for meta trends where we advise cities on solar emissions, in, uh, in other markets, the driver's given a clear consent, for, for example, to, to reduce their insurance premium, but there's a very clear consent process. Shine, why is it important for Palantir to partner with Weijo? What exactly are you hoping to offer to the market for autonomous vehicles? Yes, thank, thank you for having me. So this is exactly in line with our mission as a company of working on the hardest problems. We're talking about tackling electrification, not only on the consumer side, but of, of the supply chain, of the automotive ecosystem, helping with supply chains, helping drive autonomy. And so for us, we see this immense opportunity for Foundry to help Weijo dream bigger about mobility, capitalizing on the 15 years of R&D that we've done building the Foundry platform. And using that to enable them to bring more products to market more quickly to transform these, these areas. Richard, what, what would you say uh, Palantir has brought you that you weren't able to do before? So we, we're backed by General Motors and Magnus as examples of OEMs and tier ones. And we're, we're, we want to build a complete data ecosystem. What Palantir does is, is enable us to speed that process up. You know, we've got over 11 million cars talking to us in real time. Our forecast to have over 30 million cars live on platform next year. We needed a partner like, Pal like Palantir, where we, we, we've already built our first product with them. And we built it within weeks from having the idea to actually going to full execution. So Palantir has become our perfect partner. Shyam, of course, this is CNBC, so we're going to want to know what it's worth to investors. Wolf was talking about the share price of Palantir and how you've seen a nice run here this week and then even just today, perhaps on the news of this partnership. So how valuable is this for Palantir? We think this is very valuable because it's indicative of a broader opportunity, a fantastic opportunity to invest in highly ambitious companies uh, and to help these companies, whether they're building flying cars like Lilium uh, or they're transforming pharma like Royvent uh, or they're transforming the automotive ecosystem like Weijo, we're helping them shave years and potentially hundreds of millions of dollars off of their R&D roadmaps, helping them execute the central ambition of their business much more quickly. What's the decision process internally at Palantir Shime as to, as to whether you actually take a stake in one of your clients uh, versus just just uh, take royalty as in, you know, take a fee for the services you offer them? Yeah, it's a great question. Of course, we have a, a rigorous investment process and an investment committee. Uh, and apart from that, though, the, the core thesis is can our product meaningfully transform this business? Can it shave years off of the R&D roadmap? What is the theory of collaboration? How are we leveraging our experience across 40 different industries to bring new products to market more quickly? In the case of Weijo, I would say we, we were even talking with a, a major low carbon energy provider and seeing how this Weijo's data asset and insights around emissions and consumer safety uh, and traffic patterns, congestion can help cities reduce uh, their own emission footprint, understand where to put charging stations. And so I think there is a huge play of, of how we can help accelerate this business. And this, this is what we're seeing uh, as we think about uh, investing in companies.